It's unlike the Forte, when you bring the audio back, it still retains the nicer qualities of the higher end piece of equipment that you know I have here. So I can kind of feel in some way that I'm taking the studio with me when I go. It's day two of Mesa and we're here on the Unity audio booth with Kevin. Now when the Boulder range of speakers was first launched, I rather mischievously suggested that a small desktop model might come out and be called something like the Pebble. And what do you know? Indeed, a lot of people second guessed us on uh, what we, if we did a, a really baby one, it would be called the Pebble, and we are going to be calling it the Pebble. There's a reason for that I'll come to in a second. There's some other, other bits and pieces coming out for it. OK, so um, do tell us all about it. OK, so, so the Pebble, like the rest of the range, is a sealed cabinet. Um, we favour that over a ported cabinet just so we've got fast, uh, accurate bass, really tight, uh, fast transients. Yep. Um, but what we've done with the cabinet, it's an MDF cabinet by the way, not a birch plywood like the rock or the boulder, um, but we've resurrected an old design called a periodic vent, which we're also using in the Avalanche subwoofer, which is coming out in May. Um, in that, it's a, it's a split um, cabinet, there's two chambers in here. Yep. And in the dividing wall between the two, two chambers, there's a uh, restrictive membrane, which um, basically governs how much uh, air flow is going through to the second chamber and gives you the impression of a larger volume cabinet. So, so that's almost like having a passive radiator in a baffle inside the box. Yeah, kind of. The end result is you get a, a, a much better lower bass uh, response from, from a small cabinet. That's why we've chosen to do, to do that. So we've got it sort of going down to sort of 50 hertz sort of area. It's intended to be sort of very, very near field. Ideally, someone working on a, on a computer on a, on a desktop situation, if you're really close to them and you're not after very high SPL, you'll get really accurate uh, frequency response, but there's some really good detailed, pretty low, respectable bottom end, given the size of the cabinet and the, and the size of the woofer. And it's a, it's a four and three quarter inch uh, C's driver that we're using on this. And a departure from the rest of the range, we uh, opted to go for a soft dome tweeter this time instead of the folded ribbon tweeter. And uh, we're using a class D amplifier with our own custom crossover on that. Hmm. Um, there won't be any tweaks on the back like the, like the rock, it'll just be a, a level control on the back. Um, no, no HF or LF tweaks or anything. Um, and then we're also going to introduce a, a pair of optional subwoofers called Bam Bam. So the combination will be a 2.2 system, Pebbles and Bam Bam, and the, uh, the Bam Bam subwoofer will be pretty much the same size as this cabinet, about two centimeters larger, and it'll have a single eight inch uh, C's woofer in there. So um, then you'll, you'll get a much higher SPL, obviously, and you'll transform it into a three-way system. And we'll have all the crossover points sort of worked out. It'll be a plug and play situation. You won't have any crossover frequencies to play with. It'll come with all the interconnect cables and power interconnect cables, so you can just uh, run the audio from the from the subwoofers up to the uh, to the satellites. Yeah. A nice little neat and tidy okay. solution. But as you say, these will work perfectly well in their own right if you don't Absolutely. need huge yeah. amounts of low end. It's, it's, if people want, you know, to use them um, if it, on a on a console meter bridge or something, we, there's a bit more of a distance. If you're not right on top of them, then that will be maybe the option to go with the optional subwoofers. Okay. Yeah. So are they in, uh, in production yet? No, we've still got a few tweaks to do. It's the first time anyone's seen them anywhere. Um, we're about 90% there, just a few little things to sort of tweak and iron out and then we'll, we'll go into production. So, so any, a couple firm, of months. Any firm delivery date or are you just aiming no, roughly I, a couple I'd of months? No, I'd say a few okay. months at the moment, yeah. But it have should you, happen fairly, fairly quickly. Have you fixed on a price yet? We're pretty sure it's going to be just under a thousand pounds for the pair. That's including yeah. VAT or? Um, probably be excluding that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that, Kevin. Okay, thank you.